Hi, I'm a calculator. And I'm Justin Bieber, and you're watching TarverAcademy.com. That's enough of me talking. Let's get to us working, shall we? Okay, so we're looking at multiplying polynomials. All right, you got 2r minus 4 times 7r squared minus 6r minus 6. So pause the video, try to work it, and then we'll work it together. Go. Good. I'm sure you got it right. Let's look and check and see if you did. Okay. When you're multiplying polynomials, the best way to do it is to keep things organized. That's actually the key to any math problem, but we're going to talk about it in this math problem. What I do is I find the, you've got two monomials here. You got two R and then minus four. And as you know, every monomial is separated by uh, subtraction or addition sign. And so we've got two monomials here and then we got one, two, three monomials there. I like to pick the one that has the least amount, which would be, ding, 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 this one, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna focus on one of these polynomial, or one of these monomials. I'm gonna go with 2R. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna stay organized, and we're gonna multiply this times all three of these. All right, just like you know from just regular math, like eight parentheses two means eight times two, okay? So you're gonna keep that in mind as you multiply these times these, okay? And the best way to do it is to break these apart, multiply those, and then multiply those, all right? Let's go through it. I like to draw it out so I don't miss anything. Boom, 2R times 7R squared. When you multiply monomials, you've got your numbers, who can multiply together, two times seven is 14, and then we multiply our R's. Now it's different with the R's, because we don't know what R is, that's why we put a letter of the alphabet in its place. So the easy thing to do is when you multiply an exponent, or I'm sorry, not exponent, but a variable times variables, you're really just going up in exponents. Because right here, that's r squared. So that's like saying r times r, correct? Well, if I'm multiplying another r, what does that become? r to the third, okay? That's the math reason of why we do it. Here's the easy reason. Whenever you multiply variables, you just go up. You're adding. When you multiply variables, you just add that exponent, okay? So it's just like if you divide a variable, you subtract, but we're not doing that. So that would be r to the third. All right, now I want to go to the next one. Don't forget, don't, forget, don't forget to take that sign with it. So we've got 2 times negative 6r. So 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and then r times r is r squared. All right, and then the last one, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And then R times, there's no R there, so it just, the R stays an R. Don't drop the R off that, okay? Now, I've got half of my problem. Now I need to do the same thing with negative four. So negative four times seven is negative 28. There's no R's there, but we gotta keep our R squared, so it stays with it. Negative four times negative six is positive, because negative times a negative equals a positive, 24. And then there's no R there, so the R stays there. And then negative four times negative six, a negative times a negative is a positive, and then four times six is 24, okay? You're not done yet. You need to simplify this. Now, that looks like a huge mamma jamma. That looks like a difficult problem. It is not, okay? I'm gonna show you how to break it down and simplify it in the correct form and just do it as easy as possible so don't miss anything. The key is not to miss anything or leave any signs out, okay? So I'm gonna start with my highest exponent, okay? We wanna find our variable with the highest exponents. So looks like there's r to the third. Circle it. Isolate that monomial, okay? I'm bringing it down because there's nothing I can combine with it. And then I'm marking it out, okay? Because I don't need it anymore. I'm on this line. Now, next biggest is r squared. So I'm gonna circle all of my r squareds and I'm not gonna forget those negatives in there. And that's it. Now I'm just doing regular math. Negative 12 minus 28. So it's gonna be a bigger negative. I've already dug down 12 feet and I'm gonna dig 28 more, okay? So it's gonna be negative 40. And then my r squareds, you're not multiplying them, so you're not gonna increase them. They're gonna stay r squared, okay? Mark this out. That's where a lot of kids mess up too. They'll like cancel out the r squares. Don't. You're messing with the numbers. Adding, subtracting things with variables, you're just gonna mess with the numbers. All right, next is our r, so it's negative 12r plus 24r. 
Okay, so I've got a bigger positive than I have a negative, so my number's gonna be positive, and it's negative 12 plus 24, which is essentially taking away 12, so you're only left with 12, and that R stays there. Cancel that out, and then I'm left with my regular number, which I believe is called a constant, um, and that's it. We can't simplify any further. You're not gonna solve for R here because you have no equal sign, all right? Our goal was to simplify this polynomial. Awesome, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, oh, what's that, I wrote that. Oops, gross. All right, I want you to check out tarveracademy.com, and if you could, tell somebody, please. Thanks again, and have a baller day.